California Department of Public Health guidelines will give people a reason to get a test or be prepared to show proof that they are fully vaccinated if they want to attend an indoor reception, meeting, or conference. News Channel 3's Danny Romero breaks down the modifications set to go into effect on April 15th that will allow meetings to resume. I don't think there's a lot of choice. Um, I've, I've performed ceremonies and coordinated events where there was little masking and I saw how uncomfortable people were. The new guidance couldn't come sooner for Richard Cadu, a local wedding and events planner who has a number of weddings coming up in the next few months. Be able to tell people the straight truth about what they're faced so that they know exactly what, what to do when they come into the situation. Uh, surprising a, a bride last minute is just not a good idea. And no more surprises here. Guidelines released by the California Department of Public Health for meetings, receptions, and conferences. Counties in the orange tier, including Riverside County, could host up to 100 people outdoors. That number bumps up if guests are tested for COVID-19 or show proof of being fully vaccinated. And if it's indoors, all guests up to 150 people are required to be tested or fully vaccinated. You want an indoor event of 100 plus people, everyone has to show proof of vaccination. That's what you have to do to be able to get that benefit of being able to invite anybody and everybody um, from your life or life together as a couple. Cadu calls this guidance a step in the right direction. You're coming from the perspective of what you could do even just six months ago relative to what you can do today. Um, it's a major move, move forward. Uh, it's not ideal, um, but then we're not we're living in an ideal world anymore. Danny Romero, News Channel 3.